So the next topic is alerts. So we have three types of alerts in a web-based application. First one is informational alerts. In informational alerts, we have the text and the OK button. You cannot do anything except just accepting this alert. So you have only one button. The second one is confirmational alerts. It has two buttons, OK and cancel. So you can either accept it by clicking OK or you can reject it by clicking cancel. The third one is prompt. So it also has OK and cancel buttons, but it also prompts you for your input. So there is a text box in it where you can type something, right? So after typing, if you click on OK, there would be certain operation that can be carried out. And if you cancel, whatever you type here will go away. So these are the three types of alerts that we have. Now we need to see how do we handle these kinds of alerts in robot framework. So in robot framework, we have two methods to handle the alerts. The first one is handle alert, right? So it asks for an argument. If you see the documentation, it gives you three options for the action. First action is accept. You can accept this alert. You can dismiss the alert that is equivalent to clicking the cancel or you can simply leave that alert open, right? So these are the three types of actions that we can have. So in the argument, you need to give it like this, accept or dismiss. The other one is just for the prompt alerts. So for prompt alert, we also need to type the text. So this is for that type of alert. We can type in the text that we want to type. And then if we do not give the second argument to this function, then it would be automatically accepted. Otherwise, we can accept or dismiss and pass it as a second argument to this function. Right, so we'll see this example. So first of all, we'll open the application. So open browser. So once we have this URL open, then we'll click on these alerts one by one. So we'll inspect the elements. So this is the first element. It is a button, right? So we can see here, this is a unordered list with three list tags. We know that from this parent, we can get the index numbers of these child and click on these one by one. So the locator would be UL, which is one only. Under that we have list elements and by index we can get the alert buttons, right? So we would be clicking on these list el elements but we want to click on the button. So for that, what we we'll do is further, we would say that I want to click on the button. So UL, LI, that index and then button. So that is my locator. So click element here, right? So this will open a alert. And then what I will do is I will use handle alert and I will accept it. Right. You see here, if I click on OK, it says that you have successfully clicked on that alert. Right. So similarly, if I run this piece of code, so it says that you have successfully clicked the alert. That alert came in for a fraction of a second and then it goes away because it is very fast, right? Similarly, we'll try for the second one. So if I do this, that means I'm talking about the second one. So I run this test case. So it says that you have clicked on OK button. So that means if I type dismiss here, then it should give me that you have clicked cancel. So it opens it. So now it says that you have clicked on cancel button, right? So this way you can perform different operations on the informational and confirmational alerts. So the next one is prompt alert. So for that, we need to click on the third button like this, and then we can use the input text into alert function, and we can pass on the text that we want to type there. Right, so if we see the arguments of this function, there is a second argument which is action and by default it is accept. So when it types, it will immediately click on that accept button, right? But you can also set it to dismiss so that even after typing the message or the text that you have here, it would click on cancel button rather than accepting it. 
so we'll try both the things let's say first we try without arguments and we see what happens so it says that you entered Kamal that means it, it clicked on OK button now I say that I want to click on dismiss So it says that you entered null, that means I entered the text but then I dismissed it, therefore the value remains null. Alright, so that is all about the alerts and we move on to the next lecture.